Bankruptcy? What bankruptcy? The city of Detroit moved one step further in its bankruptcy filing Wednesday. And on the same day, city officials approved a new multi-million dollar development project. Judge Stephen Rhodes essentially froze lawsuits from Detroit's employee unions trying to halt the filing. Those unions say bankruptcy will negatively affect employee pensions. Ultimately, Rhodes decided all issues regarding bankruptcy must be taken care of in a bankruptcy court. Wednesday's ruling is considered a small victory for city officials who say the filing is the only way to alleviate Detroit's $18 billion debt problem. Although Detroit became the largest municipality to file for bankruptcy in U.S. history, the Michigan Strategic Fund approved a request for the city to build a $650 million entertainment district and Detroit Red Wing Stadium in Midtown. According to MLive.com, city and state economic development officials continue to insist that the project should not be adversely affected by Detroit's bankruptcy filing. But will the bankruptcy filing be adversely affected by the Midtown project? According to Governor Rick Snyder, no. The Detroit Free Press reports he defended the project and the use of taxpayer dollars, saying it should increase the tax base of the city longer term and should increase the employment opportunities for Detroiters. So this should create a better environment for Detroit long term and that will be better for all of us. Crane's Detroit Business reports the Downtown Development Authority plans to collect $284.5 million in property taxes from a 615-acre area of downtown. This will cover bonds issued by the state to build the Red Wings' 18,000-seat arena in Midtown. According to WXYZ, the project will create an estimated 4,400 new jobs. The bonds issued by the state will cover 44% of the cost, while Olympia Development, which is owned by Red Wings owner Mike Illich, will fund the other 56%. Judge Rhodes did not rule on Detroit's eligibility for bankruptcy, nor does Wednesday's decision mean the city will definitely be approved. A second status conference will be held August 2nd to set deadlines going forward. For Newsy, I'm Christian Bryant.